Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Muckle Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Victoria 2, playing as a somewhat thicker United States of America. So, right now, as you can tell on screen, we have a make, puppets, make a puppet cast its belly against Colombia, but at the same time, we also have a conquest cast its belly against Cuba. Now, this obviously isn't where we left off last time. I just made sure that I save scummed so we could get two cast its belly for the price of one, or the price of none, uh, I guess, technically. So... That is our plan for right now. So we're going to go to war with Cuba first, because, well, I just want to straight up annex them. And then we're going to public Colombia, so that this way, we can begin thinking about going through Colombia to Panama, or down to Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia, and then kind of hang out and lower our infamy some more, because, as someone pointed out in yesterday's video, I always talk about infamy because it's a very bad thing. <sighs> but anyways, uh, I have just expanded my railroads, or researched the next level of railroads, which... Let's expand Kentucky first, because we can. Uh, obviously, as you can tell, I don't have that much money. But basically because I couldn't buy Cuba for a million pounds. So I figured, let's just use the money. Screw it. We're just going to use it. I don't want to wait around. So we might as well just sp spend the money making lots of forts. Lots of railroads. Lots of naval bases. All that good stuff. And I'm out of money. God dang it. Well, I developed the East Coast a little bit more. The Upper East Coast, but... Shippies? Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. A tiny bit more. I need to lower the taxes on the middle class, too. A little bit less. That'd be good. A little bit more. And I'll need to lower the tariffs later on. And we're still in debt to Denmark. Give me one more month and we'll go to war. So I can give these guys a little bit of time to get more organization. Ah, very good. Good enough. Alright, get on the boat. Under Thomas Clayton. Pretty good attack. Pretty good defense. Morale's pretty sucky, though. Actually, if we do a two-front... Hmm. Fourteen. <clears throat> I do have one American army down here. We're going to stack you right... Let's see. It's, ooh, that supplies. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Right there. There you go. Oh, yeah. Could we expand Panama? That'd be great as well. Uh, Hispaniola? Sure. Yep. Florida's next. Tensions dissipate in Kokin China. Oh yeah, we also took out China. Kokin China, I should say, really. It's a little bit more different than regular China. Nice. I know I can leave it up to bureaucrats, capitalists, to build railroads, but I want to make sure that we get all places taken care of, so. Alright, let's go to war. I'm not going to call anyone in, because no one cares. Nice. Come on over here. I'll throw another army over here, too. Immigration, we're, we were getting 2,200 a day, almost 2,300 a day. That's pretty darn good. So, we have had war, but no one cares. Let's come on over here and grab another army. And we'll smack those guys down soon enough. And here comes the smacking. And I'm going to need to pull armies over here as well to come to Colombia. You guys come down here. You might as well land and take out that group. A few thousand. A few thousand, that's okay. This is definitely earlier than what I thought I would get Cuba. I wasn't thinking 1878. Oh, do we have anywhere else we could expand? I really don't want to expand these guys down here. I don't want them to become great powers at all. Just kind of like powers under me when I can maybe get the resources. I really don't want to see them expand too much because if they become a great power then we lose them as a puppet and I don't want to do that. That doesn't sound like fun. California, your roads are eh, you're somewhat expensive but not that bad. Let's see. Oh, so they're for that. Arizona. Cool. Oh, and don't want to forget Hawaii. Or this Plus. Plus? This place. Actually. Naval base? Not yet. Not yet. Oh, Hawaii. Kinda likes us. Nice. Very good. Nice. Very good. Havana is ours. Dixie, Afro American, very cool, very cool. Keep besieging it. And time to come down to Guantanamo Bay. That's not American territory, so we can do bad things there if we really wanted to. But don't ask about that. Alright, so I need down to Panama now. Nice. Penal colony abolished. Since we no longer hold any territory suitable for pur purpose, our penal colony system has been abolished. What? Oh, 
Ah, uh, now that's what I'd like to see. Look how blue this is. Even though we don't own Puerto Rico, we'll have to take him out eventually. But that's okay. Come to Panama City. That'd be fine. And as soon as we take him over, build some forts. Ports. I'm going to leave this army here probably. I think it'd be best if we did it just because we might have rubbles. I don't have enough pops here to really put down. Well, hold on. One, two. How many guys do you have here? So I got basically two and one. Oh, we're still doing uh, bureaucrats. You done, Louisiana? You done? What am I doing in New York? Ah, clerks. Good. Oh, yeah. This definitely needs this. Anywhere else? The American South looks pretty reconstructed. Up here looks pretty good as well. I doubt I could throw anything here. Yeah, I doubt it. How about Wari? This one little African province that we got. Well, no. That sucks. Here's some forts, though. Instead... Oh, Cuba. No. Spaniola. Let's see. Clerks. Oh, that's a few too many clerks in New York. I'll put some clerks here, then. Clerks. I didn't realize how close Pennsylvania is to New York. I don't know, I thought there was another state between these guys. Like, I, know, I remember the solid line. Pretty solid. Then immediately New York? God dang. New York's a weird place. Uh, let's see, clerks. Cool. Keep it like that for now. And give me... Eh, give me... Let's see. It's Cuba. But how long do we have until... Our Casas Belli against Colombia. October 11th. So we have until basically October 11th. Really October 10th. Uh, Netherlands, we'd be okay. We'd be okay. Probably got to increase relations with the Bolivians. I have no time to make an alliance with any of these great powers. Because I have my own places, people to deal with. Good. Good. Well, I'm a liberal party. Rock by scoundrel. Come on, Republicans. Actually, that makes a lot of sense since it's Ulysses S. Grant, but, you know, whatever. His administration was a little wishy-washy, I guess we could say. According to history books. Let's see. Also, we did find oil in a place that I used to live in. Houston area. Well, I never I never lived in Houston, but I was close enough to Houston that I kind of did. Cool. Oil. Ah, oh, yes. Mmm. Ooh, uh, I like it, France, but after playing Brazil and HFM and you calling me to a war I should not have gotten involved in, I'm gonna say no, man. I'm gonna, I am got to say no. Ooh, yeah. No. Forbes. Yeah, supply limit. Good. I really want to focus on just commerce. I'm completely ignoring, like, my army tax right now. Uh, but let's get electricity. That could be really good. More population growth. Telephones. Oh, yeah. I'm focusing heavy on industry. Sabotage. You mean fire someone? Nothing wrong with that. Alright, give me one more month, and we'll go to war again with Colombia. And, of course we're going to fight for our country, you bunch of crazies. Ah, third in the world. Time for a little bit of war. Eh, uh, yeah, Brazil and Peru join, why not? We're just going to add him to the collection. Ah, Amer the War of American Control over Colombia. Oh, Venezuela, just because I found oil in Houston does not mean I don't want your future oil either. Hmm. Oh, look at this. So I already did incarceration just because this popped up when I was playing off screen just a little bit to get us to where we need to be. But now we can do rehabilitation, which means we get less oppression points. We get more simulation rate and immigrant attraction. But what do people want? <sighs> minimum wage again? Like I said yesterday, in my capitalist utopia, there should be no minimum wage. There probably shouldn't be a maximum wage, but you know what, I'm going to go ahead and do rehabilitation first, and then I'll do minimum wage, just because I really don't want any more revolts. Revolts suck. I uh, definitely don't want to attack right there. Good. Oh, nice. Very nice. Very good. Very good. And honestly, there's not really much else for our ships to do here. I mean, I guess they could come over there, but, you know, whatever. Come on back to Florida. 
I could probably lower your budget by a little bit more too. Nice. Look at all that money we're making. I did. I have not even gone to China, and we're making so much money. Uh, railroads. Oh yeah. Of course I'd forget the South. Uh, that looks pretty good. Not gonna lie, that looks pretty good. I want to. I want to do this stuff, but I'm not gonna make railroads for Canada. Not yet. I got plans for you, Canada. You're gonna be my hat. Uh, state capitalism is the best. Because the state knows best. Oh, uh, increased relations with the Japanese. I'd rather not get Pearl Harbor early on. Let's see, actually, 30th of August. Yeah, let's get there first. Nice. Are they invading someone? Oh, they're invading my other allies. Good. Not my armies, please. Thank you. Tunja. Colombia already took off Panama from you, but now you're going to join us in full. Ooh, Dixies. North Andean. Kind of cool. Try to keep it plural mine. Uh, I guess it's okay. Ah, very good. We're pretty prestigious. We definitely need a bigger military, which we'll focus on after this war. Oh, no! We became Democrats the first election where we became Democrats. No! What happened to the Liberal Party? No! Oh, we got the Working Men's Party. Communist Party. Hold another election. Oh my gosh, I can't... Ah, oh, I hate being a Democrat Party right now because... Oh, you can't tax poor people. Oh, you can only spend so much on military spending. No, 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 no. I know we're America. We make a lot of money, but still. The poor need to get taxed. Who's going to fund the war efforts? Terrible. Vent. How far have you fallen Austria Hungary if you're coming to America for an alliance? Like, son, are you real? Like, come on, man. Ah, oh, there we go. Yay! Another great ally who always wanted to be with me. Nice. Awesome. Come up to Panama City. You guys can come over here. And we'll leave you down here. We got three armies in South America. A little bit in Central America, too. Nice. We can lower the budget for now. Because... Mm. I don't mind keeping it this high over here, just because I want spending on my ships a little bit. I don't want them to get damaged while they're just sitting there. That looks okay, that looks good. Tariffs. Let's lower tariffs a little bit. And lower military spending too by a little bit too. Alright, not bad. Not bad. Uh, yeah. Alright. Well, we're definitely in the Gilded Age era now. Van's way is getting some immigrants. Everyone here is getting some immigrants. See, if you're under me, you get immigrants. How long is it going to take for me to go to war with Mexico again? 1881. Cool. Very cool. Um, upper house rearranged. So be it. And now, uh, you know what? I guess we'll give them uh, their minimum wage. So be it. Whatever. Whatever. Alright, let's focus on making another army then. Three, four, five. Oh, well. There we go, another army. Mechanize mining, what am I gonna do with all this money? Build forts. Because what else am I gonna do with this stuff? Honduras, I really wanna wait and just stay at peace for now. I really don't wanna save scum right now. I mean, I will eventually want to again, but... Since I have the money, every st Oh god, Belgium, what's wrong with you? Ooh, fuel refinery. Yeah, yeah, no, laws of fair. Democrats, please, please, for the love of god, please. <laughs> Not during the Gilded Age. <laughs> Not when we find fuel everywhere. Oh, Venezuela, I'm sorry, Venezuela. Cool. Ooh, I mean, it's not any fuel, but yeah, coal's still not bad. Money. Money. Secularization first. Now nah, we good. Conservative. Oh, God. They only got 37% of the vote. Why can't the liberals and the like socialists work together? Like, come on, man. Seriously. Ah, uh, terrible. I know, terrible. Cool. Columbia, you don't even have a name. Nice. Increased relations with all these people. Ooh, the British are going after Zulu people. We don't care, so that's okay. And how many points do I have? One and a half, that's not enough. We were losing quite a bit of money. I was I waited to make more factories just because of that. 
Uh, Guatemala, you will be my ally once we're done here. Uh, coal production, steam turbine, cement production. This looks better. Let's do that one. Drilling and blasting. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Alright, so how's the world looking? So, Austria-Hungary is looking pretty Austro-Hungarian. Romania is looking pretty Romanian. Italy is looking pretty sad. Russia... Why, why do you have Ural state here? That doesn't make any sense. Whatever. Or that... It looks pretty normal. Also, we have this too. And we got one army down here. Oh, yeah, build up that port. That'd be nice. How much would it take for me to go to war with Vietnam, at least? Protectorate? Ten. Oh, that's a lot. Concession isn't bad. But he wants to go for Protectorate. So, uh... I don't know. It's not great. Our military is looking pretty weak, honestly. That's a pretty weak military. Wait, Roman War... Roman War of Lombardian Freedom? Lombardy acquires all states with core pro Oh my goodness. The Pope is getting kind of aggressive. Is this another crusade? Sweden. 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 What the heck, man? No. No. Oh my goodness. Germany, you're... Oh god, Germany, you are... Man, when, when they're allied with the UK, that's just broken, man. That's completely broken. Uh... Hey, heck yeah. Oh, I guess I'll do that. Sure, why not? Also, we want to build up more ships. I don't want to forget. Ship, 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 ships. Oh, what, wait, what do they need? What do we know? Small arms? You're telling me to break my budget and buy lots of small arms? Oh, yeah, they're not worth nearly as much. All right, well, I guess that's not a huge difference. 38, 36. That's not a huge difference. That's okay. Yeah, I don't want to make any more forts for now. A time go on. Let's look at, look at our population. So we currently have a population. Ooh, ooh, look, colonial negotiations is good. Of 39 million. I thought we'd have more by this. Wow, we got a, a lot of different cultures here. Mostly Yankee, but some good amount of Dixie, some African American, some Ija, Afro Latino, Ibo, Central American. That's cool. Can I. Can I colonize? I oh, need the Dark Continent too. Uh, what places are available? I doubt there's really any place that's really available. Oh. Oh. I didn't realize you could colonize through your puppets. Now, that's pretty cool. This is going to look really bad. Holy crap. This is going to look terrible. Oh, but I can't wait. Oh, yeah. All this. See, I'm glad they have the, the colony colonize button. Colonial map mode. Colonial map mode. It would be proper. Nothing in Africa yet. Oh. Oh, uh, well, we, uh, I see what the UK is doing. Ah, uh, the Berlin Conference of 1880. The colonial powers of the world have gathered in Berlin to discuss the regulation of colonization and trade in Africa. The outcome has been known as the Great General Act of the Berlin Conference, formalizing the scramble for the African continent. After this point, any civilized country, Tangier to International Zone, uh, will largely be seen as justified in aggression towards uncivilized African nations. Ah, uh, yes. Perfect. Don't mind me, I'm just trying to make money. But I guess the Democratic Party doesn't really know how to tax poor people. Uh, oh, Thomas, cool. More, even more coal, god dang. Alright, so we must have, yeah, we hit that. Alright, so there's nothing I can do. I mean, Democrats. You gotta tax the poor people. I don't want to tax the rich people, because who's going to else pay for these jobs? Oh, look at that. Research points. Happy 1880, my friends. Oh, we need steel steamers so I can get pre-dreadnoughts. Or battleships. Oh, that'd be so good, but I need research points first. Oh, look at this. Build oh, yeah, bail the Panama Canal. Proposals for a canal across the Panama Isthmus probably date back to the first discovery of the sea, or the area. Nowhere is a strip of land that unites North and South American continents thinner than here. And with the aid of modern engineering, we could shorten the travel time between the Atlantic and the Pacific by several days by building it. Take a while to be built, and will most likely cost between two to six million pounds. We've got 3,000. We get Balboa as a core. So, Today, we'll start building the canal to connect the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. Our engineers are already, and are ready in a series of surveys of the area of the canal. We're done. The only thing left to do before we start the construction is to define the budget of this colossal project. This promises to be one massive undertaking, and when it finishes, without a doubt, will be one of the biggest human achievements for decades to come. Let's go with six million. Ah. Okay, I don't see the dad here. Uh, I have the Bank of the United States, but, uh... Um, Paris? 
I'd like to pay back to the Bank of the United States of America. Oh, we got rid of the Denmark debt. That's, that's kind of nice. Uh, Puerto Rico, you know, I don't think I have a special event for you. We might. Oh, no. Don't tell. Oh, God. I still have to. I, oh, okay. I thought it was going to be like the Denmark debt where we don't have any money. Wait, what are my money going down? Why does it keep going down? It keeps going down to like 800 or something. Five? See, it went, just went back down to 500. What the heck? Am I secretly in debt to myself or something? What's going on? No, we good. We good. Hmm. Dutch. Out. Uh, increased relations with the Germans. The Japanese. That's pretty much it. Uh, I'm a little concerned about my money right now. Oh. Like, yeah, I know national stockpile purchases aren't cheap, but I'm only spending like 600 on that, so... Yeah, look, it just went back down to 200. Why does I do that? It can't get over 10,000 for some reason. Huh. Well, it's good that I'm not going to go to war right now. It might be because there's like another debt mechanic for maybe the Panama Canal, maybe? I, I, I have no idea. Hey, but let's go. This has a core. That's nice. Panama Canal under construction expires in eight years. Jesus, that's a long, long time. Woo! American schools. Of course, we're going to enforce the American curricula. No thanks, Puerto Rico. Actually, let's, let's double check. Do we have a decision about Puerto Rico ex expedition to the Black Hills? Heck yeah. Annex Hawaii, of course, Guantanamo. I mean, we won't, don't have it currently as a core, but I don't want two more infamy. Warship, organized production. And we need the stream turbine, yeah. Liquor prohibition, uh, I don't know, man. That doesn't seem really smart for me, but you know, whatever. Ah, uh, look at that. American South America. Ah, uh, now that makes me so happy. Ah, oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Can I, oh, I can get... Oh, my gosh. This is disgusting. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, oh yeah. That's good, too. Nice. Netherlands, the homie. Let's, let's double check here. So, you guys... Clerks. Clerks are pretty much done in Massachusetts, Pennsylvania. Oh god, yeah. Ohio, you need some clerks? Massachusetts, yeah. Pennsylvania. New York, could use a few more clerks as well, maybe. Get clerky. Nice. How is the administration going in these provinces? It's going quite well, actually. Quite well. I'm impressed. Please, let's get back to the Republicans. They know how to tax poor people. Or at least fix the budget. I know it's not going to work, but still. Oh, it dies. Nice. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the budget. This is really not cool. All right, so what do people want? Oh, simple. I don't care what they want. We're getting health care. Nice. Education's going all right. Well found in Topeka. Love and war. We are patriots, and of course, we will fight for our country. We get more population growth right now. We only have 18.92 infamy, which is good. Paraguay defaults. So be it. So be it. And how many immigrants are we getting a day? Not many. Just a casual 3,800. 3,600. Uh, bitter rain. Divert more water to local farms. That's fine. What a really little, little bit of prestige, but that's okay. Is anyone coming here? Oh, we get more population growth. No, it doesn't look like it. Colonial lamp mode. I just gotta keep an eye on this. You never know if there's gonna be something new that pops up. Can I get this? Oh, I'd love to. I would love to get that full citizenship. Anywhere else? No. Look, everything looks pretty well developed. Uh, I just gotta wait for Africa. Africa. Cool. Oh, who's this? Oh, the French are losing to some Africans. Ooh, naval build time's good. We'll immediately do this to get some bigger battleships. Because 8 military score, not that good. God dang, all oh, they even went up in support. Oh, Republicans, why can't you win an election? Oh, you're even anti-military. God dang it. 
I mean, you know, they believe in moralism, but come on, man. Now there's these guys, paternalistic. Oh, hey, we can get more stuff. What do they want? What do they want? Let's see. They're all about that minimum wage. I mean, they're probably demanding more minimum wage than people demand in today's world in 2020. Oh my gosh, it's the year 2020. Jesus. Where did the time go? Yeah, I, 200... Oh, man, this is... I'm gonna... There has to be, like, that little... It has to be for the Panama Canal. That's why we keep losing all this money. It's the only way that I, that I can make sense of it. That's why I'm not going to go to war, because... You never know. <laughs> it definitely increased relations with them. Columbia, how are you? You're my little lovely puppet. Actually, do we still have increased relations with Ecuador? No, it's not going up any higher. That's okay, though. Ah, so much coal. Ah, yes. Yes. Oh, is it? Oh, it's another state down here. This is just beautiful. I love blue. American South America. Nothing is better than that. Well, maybe American Africa. Make no distinction in class. Actually, can we see who... Let's see. So, ideology. Yeah, we see, like, overall. But can we see, like, what the level of, like, rich people? The upper class think of, like, their ideology versus, like, the middle class and the lower class? That would be very cool. Electoral vote. Democrats are just ahead. Republicans, how did you fall this far? Most of our people are still farmers, huh? Yeah, we're still trying to build stuff up here. Uh, are there any more areas for improvement for roads? No, not really. Any area of improvements for naval dockyards? I probably can't afford it. Yeah, that costs... A ton of money. Ugh. So bad. You know what? If I can't make money, I'm gonna get some forts, maybe. Maybe a fort or two. Hmm. You know what? Maybe I start trying to sphere Canada. Oh, UK, no you don't. No you don't. Yeah, no one wants to become a soldier just because I don't spend a lot of money on soldiers. Ah, uh, that is depressing. Gunfight at the OK Corral. So, in a 30-second gunfight in Tombstone, Arizona, Wyatt Morgan and Earl Virgil Earp, along with Doc Holliday, killed Billy Clanton and Tom and Bob McLaurie, three members of their political rivals, the Cowboys. Hmm. That's really close to the Mexican border. Well, our timeline. Mexican border. Nice. I love oil. I love fuel. Well, hold on. There's Japanese people in Peru. Huh. That's interesting. It's kind of wild, not gonna lie. The Empire of Brazil. Hey, look, we're still making good money, though. But not really. DC, you're a lady. Nice, look at that prestige. Awesomeness. Alright, so you guys head on down to Tampa. And we got that done, which is great, but I can't build them since I can't build up my army anymore. <sighs> oh, wow, look at this. Fordism? Hmm. Steel steamers. Machine guns. Machine gun armaments. Revolution counter revolution in the Dark Continent. So, to get this, it can't be before the year 1890, pretty much. Okay, that makes sense. And we need military logistics. Which is right there. But I want to continue focusing a lot on industry. Like, we are going to be one heck of an industrialized nation by the time we're done here. Let's go up another military group if we can. Four... Five, one. Oh, hold on. Santo Domingo can't quite reach us there. Santo Domingo. Oh, that's not good. Nice. Ah, uh, yes, a slave state. Hmm. And, of course. Oh, wow. I don't think I owe you any money, America. I'm pretty sure I don't. All right, I'm going to raise excess exotic fauna. Sure. I don't have money anyway, so you might as well take it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at that. Nice. Santa Fe. Perfect. Truly perfect. 
Now that's nice. That's a whole new South American nation. Oh, rubber. Yes, I love the rubber. Fourth in the world for industry. Hmm. But unfortunately, I can't do anything about it. I can try to keep holding elections, but the conservatives had just just a tiny smidgen, a little bit more support. Ooh, I lost a battle. That's not good. And we should be building up another group. Yep, that's my thought down here. Oh god, they're not building anything down here. Oh boy. Nope. Very good, very good. Ah, uh, socialist, fine. You want a flippin' good minimum wage? Jeez. Jeez Louise. It oh, hey! Italy formed, kind of, finally. Uh oh. Oh, the Ottoman. What the heck? The Ottomans are up there. Oh, they're fighting the Luxembourgish and Netherlands. Huh. Italy, I like you. But that prestige and that military score is telling me no, man. Ooh, no, buddy. No, 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 no. Probably increased relations with the French as well. Oh, I'm barely making any money. But then again, we have a lot of socialists and they like. and they rose up and. Ah, uh, gonna have to put him down. Unfortunate, unfortunate. I like our ship still here. Mechanized mining, let's make sure we increase relations with the Hawaiians as well. Very good, very good. Oh god, yes. Let us get that combustion engine immediately. Maybe get some tractors, diameter automobiles. Nice, deep coal mining. Awesome. Innovation and technology, that is what we are here for, my friends. And making more money, if possible. Uh, yeah, at this point, you know what? How, how does how do the socialists look? The American Red Star? Oh, you know what? I'm going to make them more socialist. Poor, poor people become more socialist. So, socialism. Hey, actually, if we become socialist, that's not too bad. Uh, and they're still anti-military, which I really don't like. Which is really bad. But they have full citizenship, which I like. I don't care for secularized, but it could be worse, I guess. State capitalism, perfect. Protectionism, eh, it's all right. So, honestly, if we go socialist America, well, we might end up that way anyways. Hey, we can get cruisers, that's not too bad, so. We might consider doing that. So they have 33.8%, but people's voters' ideology is 37%. That's better than everyone else. Hmm, we'll see what happens. Oh, look at that, Canada. It's time for you to join us. Oh, don't do that. There you go. A mountain of coal. Increase relations with them. Good. Is there anyone else that I missed? Yeah. Bolivia. I guess no one ever wants a really satellite or sphere of Bolivia. So. Mm. Oh, we have them all. Nice. Now, I know we had like two words in the first episode, or the, first, the beginning of this episode, but that's pretty much all the words we're going to do right now. I'm going to look into this little budget problem, but. That's where we're going to leave it here for today, my friends. No one wants to live in the old world, but everyone wants to live under me, whether directly or through my puppets. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode, guys. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow when, as I try to attempt to fix these budget issues. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.